Welcome back to On The Beat, everyone. I'm your host, Rachel Hurt, and today in the studio, we have two of our favorite guests from Gastroenterology Associates, Dr. Ricky Johnson and Dr. William Gillespie. And today, they're gonna to bring us some information about colorectal cancer awareness. Welcome back. Thank you for having us. Yeah, absolutely, always a treat. And this is a topic I'm really interested in. I have some personal reasons that I'm interested in it, so you're gonna share with us in a three-part series all about colon cancer, screenings, and prevention. So basically, right. let's inform our viewers about what colon cancer is. So basically, um, it's a cancer in the colon. It can be mm -hmm. anywhere in your colon and also in the very last part of your colon, which is, would be rectal cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, the cells in your colon will mutate over time, turn into polyps, and then eventually turn into a cancer. Um, so that's why we like to do colonoscopies, so we can take those polyps out before they become cancer. Right, right. Mm -hmm. What about are some recent statistics about colon cancer? So I brought a little cheat sheet. I hope that's okay. I love a cheat sheet. Uh, Go that, ahead, good, Mark. thank you. Uh, so <laughs> I think you know these are all very important for people to remember uh, when they decide about getting colonoscopies mm -hmm. and, and so forth. So the average lifetime risk for men is one in twenty-three, women is one in twenty-five. So that means you know if you know twenty-three men, uh, one of those is very likely to be afflicted with colon cancer mm -hmm. during their lifetime. Uh, colon cancer is the third most commonly diagnosed cancer in men and women in this country and the second leading cause of death um, wow. for men and women in this country. And, some, and from 2022 estimates that there were about 150,000 people in this, in this country diagnosed with colon cancer and about 52, almost 53,000 people may have died from colon cancer. Um, one thing we like to point out to people is the increasing risk among young adults or young people, mm -hmm. um, and these are based on some statistics from 20, 2007 to 2016. Uh, as we would hope, the rates for older people age 65 and older drop. That means we're having some impact with colonoscopies and reducing the risk in, in, those, in that age group. However, for people under 50, the rates actually increased by 2.2%. And really? we were talking beforehand, I think you said the rates in... For, for 20 to 49 year olds have almost doubled over the past uh, few decades. Yeah, um, is, and we're not entirely sure why. It might yeah. be diet, it might be obesity, it might be something in the environment. We're not sure why. So but. those are risk factors for colon cancer. It's your diet, environmental, I mean, name some other risk factors. Uh, family history is a big one. Age is actually probably the most important as you get, despite what we just said about the increasing risk in young people. But if, for older people, the older you get, the, the higher risk. Family history has a lot to do with that. Uh, particularly first degree relatives, some people come in sometimes with second and third degree relatives, but, but really first degree relatives is what we focus on with regards to risk. Um, personal history, so if you've had polyps before, mm -hmm. uh, that raises your risk. Right. Um, Smoking's a big one, obesity, diabetes, sedentary lifestyle. So we, we tell people we don't really know why polyps and colon cancer happen, but we know that there's all these things that do increase your chance of getting it. Symptomatically, what should someone be looking for or would they be experiencing if they were showing symptoms of colon cancer? My favorite thing to say is nothing. Really? Uh, I tell people that because in the early stages, you know, colon cancer may not cause symptoms. Mm -hmm. That's part of my mm -hmm. spill with every patient I see to set up a screen colonoscopy. So early on, you may not have any symptoms at all. So the point being, don't wait till so you, you have, have symptoms. symptoms. Yeah, to go ahead and Preventative get screened. Preventative is best. So, right. But, it, you know, if you are unfortunate enough to have advanced to that point, uh, bleeding is probably the most common symptom. You can get a change in bowel habits, um, you know, maybe abdominal pain, constipation, uh, decreased caliber of the stool. So mm -hmm. if your stools are kind of one size and then all of a sudden they're more narrow than they used to be. Mm -hmm. Unintentional weight loss yeah. okay. um, is a big one too. Treatment options. Tell us some treatment options. Uh, the goal is to resect it and cure it. So, uh, you yeah, know, if you catch it early enough, we can take it out with the scope. Um, yeah. So that's, that's ideally what we like to do. But if it's gone past that point, uh, then uh, surgery would be the next step um, where they can frequently just take out part of the colon. Okay. Um, and if it hasn't spread anywhere, that might be all they have to do. But if it has spread, then you have to do chemotherapy and radiation yeah. and all that. But our goal is to try to get to it before it becomes cancer um, so they never have to go through all of that. People ask about bags all the time whenever you talk about mm -hmm. having colon surgery. Sure. And you know, occasionally with the rectum when it has to be fully resected, but for colon cancer anywhere else in the colon, you can put it back together and hopefully not have to have a bag. Good deal. Well, I can't wait to find out more. And I know there's a lot of information that we want to share. So until next time. Yes. If you want more information about how these gentlemen and the staff at Gastroenterology can help you, all the information's up on the screen. Give them a call, make an appointment. They'd be glad to get you started on a treatment plan preventative. Um, and hopefully um, you wouldn't, this wouldn't be something you'd have to deal with. We'll be back after this short break.